tonight I have 27 hours in Louisville Kentucky nuts and terrifying I've never been to Louisville Kentucky and it wasn't somewhere where I wanted to go but I'm here and I'm open for the experience it is going to be four degrees and a high of 20 degrees that's the highest temperature we're gonna reach in the 27 hours that I'm gonna be there the next day we're going Louisville to Miami, Miami to Trinidad, so we're doing hot and cold the same trip. So this is going to be fun to pack for. I've been to Trinidad before, but it was raining, and now it looks like the weather's going to be great, like high of 87 and sunny. So at least I'll get a tan on the second layover, but the first layover I'm going to be freezing, so maybe I'll just need that 15 hours to defrost. Then I get back Monday morning, so this is a four-day trip. I am not so excited about this trip, but I am being positive and I'm sure that we can find something fun to do. I looked up, there is no Pilates classes, so it looks like the hotel gym is going to become my best friend, especially in Trinidad. I don't really leave when I go to Trinidad, so it's going to be kind of like whatever's at the hotel is whatever's for me. So let's get a tour, let's get ready and pack. I have to be at the airport at 8.15. My flight tonight is at 9.15. It is kind of a red eye, not really. And about like 12 o'clock, 1 in the morning time, we'll probably get to my hotel at 1 a.m hit the sheets and then wake up for my 27 hours let's pack i am gonna do warm pajamas for kentucky cold pajamas for trinidad a couple workout sets i'm gonna work out both places a bikini and cover up for trinidad and obviously sweatpants and a sweatshirt for kentucky i don't know how much exploring i'm gonna be doing but I'll bring this and then I'm gonna have my coat that I wear with my uniform. I'm gonna bring tennis shoes that I'll wear with this that I can also wear when I work out. Kind of like a dual, dual purpose, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, that just doesn't look, I hope they don't go through my bag at TSA. <laughs> parking lot I took her with me we both have a sign in time of 8 o'clock but it's not the same trip like cruise scheduling would never do that to us especially on our one year or year ago yesterday actually was our first day of flight attendant training and so that's the day we met and now we live together and they could have sent us on like a celebratory trip but like that would be like the odds would be way too much in our favor something would be up yeah, that would be nuts so she's going to the try for 27 hours so we're both kind of like one degree in freezing cold temperatures stuck in the hotel room for 27 hours but at least we can facetime yeah. yeah i'm working position two but i really am like praying to god that i can get on the plane and be like hey guys who wants position two because i hate it it's the galley it's working in the back let's go okay we gotta go
I just got in. This place is actually nuts. They gave me a literal house, a like three bedroom house. I have no complaints. It's freezing cold. It was like 12 degrees when we got off the plane. The van driver wasn't there, but the van was there. So we went all the way outside to the van, walked there just to realize he wasn't even there. So I was literally sitting on the ground shivering. I literally put a video right here. It was nuts. But we are here now. I'm spending two nights here, so I guess it's good that it's like a house because I'm gonna make it a home. All my crew said they wanted to meet up at 12 in the lobby to go to the Muhammad Ali Museum. So I guess that's what we're doing. <laughs> Before that, I might grab a little breakfast. It's probably not gonna be a walkable vibe just because it's so freezing cold. So hopefully there's something attached to the hotel or I'm just gonna become a DoorDash queen. They provided whole body hydration for $7. I'm gonna get changed and get ready for bed. Um, it is 12 o'clock right now, 12.59, almost 1 a.m. So it's definitely time to like hit the sheets. <laughs> freezing cold like I had to put on I literally have my pajamas on under this and then a sweatpants and then I turned the heating on to 78 my feet were freezing I wrapped them up in some blanket it was like something I've never experienced before and I love sleeping cold like I can't sleep without it being cold so the fact that I was like freezing to death was nuts I'm gonna get ready probably walk to go get some coffee and then meet my crew members in the lobby at 12 o'clock, so it's 11 o'clock now. This place is nuts, look. I don't even know if it's my time to walk because all the lights are broken <laughs> and they're flashing red. It's like a ghost town, I'm the only person out here. It says I'm 600 feet away. Feels like 600 miles away. I'm getting closer, I think. It says three minutes, but this is a bomb. Bag secured, and I know what you're thinking. Is that NARS liquid blush? No, <laughs> there's no makeup on this face. That's that natural blush that you get when it's nine degrees outside. You know what I mean? The workers were like not very nice. There was like eight of them and nobody in there. And I walked in and there was like, hey. <laughs> they were like, I understand that it's cold, but you picked to live here. They were probably like, what is wrong with this girl? She just walked to this coffee shop in nine degrees. And um, you know what? I don't blame them. I got a hot matcha with oat milk and vanilla, which is like, I'm an ice matcha girl, but right now, baby, I can't think of anything ice. It's honestly gasoline. And then I got like a little bagel. So I'm going to eat this and then I have to meet my crew in 20 minutes. So I'm going to meet them downstairs and we're going to go to the museum. I think I'm allergic to the cold which is like a nut statement but whenever I have like exposed skin to the cold like my neck was exposed but like the rest of my body wasn't I literally broke out in hives on my neck at the restaurant it's not because of something that I ate because I hadn't even eaten yet so it was like yeah! that's my diagnosis I'm literally allergic to cold air now I am probably just gonna rot in my bed for a little bit maybe watch a movie chill out for a little bit I'm gonna go to the gym and then maybe just order some food my call time is literally so early it's like 4 40 bus time so i'll need to get up at like 4 15. <music> Seriously, just 
just rotted away. It is 6.41 p.m. I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna get ready, cycle a little bit, and then I'm gonna order food. I'm deciding if I want to go downstairs and eat there or order something here. I feel like it's going to be cheaper if I go downstairs because they give us like a card that's like 20% off at the restaurants and the hotel because we work for the airline. I've made the decision to head downstairs for dinner. <laughs> I'm going to wine and dine myself. It's going to be like a date, but um, nobody's there. Just me. I'll bring you guys with me. I would never leave you out. <laughs> Back for my solo dinner. There was hardly anyone in there, so I felt like normal. I'm gonna do my skincare and then I'm actually gonna get into bed. It is 9 p.m. So if I went to bed exactly right now, which is not gonna happen, but if it did happen, I would get 9, 10, 11, 12, 6, 7 hours of sleep. So, wow. Let's get the spread. I just got to my room. I've been here before. This is that layover that I had that one time when I blew my eardrum. So last time I was here, it was raining and it was not nice. And this time it is sunny and so amazing. So I'm gonna put a bikini on and head to the pool because I'm so excited to like actually use that pool. It's such a beautiful view. I got this horrible room again where they paint over the windows to help with the sun and you don't get a view of anything at all. It's about 4.45 right now. We are going to get ready, go to the pool, and then after the pool, I'm meeting my crew at six o'clock. The sun goes down at six o'clock, so I was like, all right, I'll meet them then, and we're all gonna go to dinner together. There's a place that you can eat here. I don't really know how safe it is to walk around here, and I'm not gonna risk it. <laughs> I love my life, I'd like to keep it. <laughs> I'm just gonna wear this blue bikini and put these Kim's pants on just as like a cover up to walk up there. I'm gonna pack a bag so that I can change at the pool so they don't have to come back to my room. I can just go straight to dinner, but I'm not going to dinner with <laughs> my entire crew in this <laughs> bikini. So I'm just gonna pack like, have, like a cover up, like a onesie, one piece kind of moment. <laughs> It is 7.47, 6.47 in Miami, and I'm going to bed. <laughs> Sounds absolutely nuts because, what? But I'm going to do my skincare and go to bed. I think it was a mix of like five hours of sleep last night, getting up at four in the morning, working a really long day, and then I just had dinner and like a little drink, and it's like, it's time to literally hit the sheets. Like I've never hit anything before. Good thing is, I won't be tired tomorrow. Tomorrow we just have one flight home, so it's gonna be like three hours. Good morning. I slept 10 hours last night, which was like so needed. 
20 minutes to get ready, so we're kind of in a little bit of a rush because I kept snoozing my alarm. I actually don't know if I even want to put on makeup. I think I'm just going to do my skincare. I only have one flight, so it's like, what's the point? <laughs> is literally a mess that was the longest flight ever I'm so tired it is literally 11 30 or 11 45 I'm gonna go home and clean my house clean my car I have three days off now so I'm not gonna really do anything for those three days and I will be back next weekend for another video we'll see what trip I get thank you for watching Mwah.